Last year was a, a, a year when people saw it and realised the vision because I think just saying, oh, we want to knit these poppies and they had no idea how it was going to be displayed. When they saw the display, they were so taken aback and this year it's really taken off and I think we've probably doubled the amount of poppies. I knitted 500 last year, I've done 575 this year and groups this year, the brownies, the guys, have all contributed and uh, to make it the display it is at the moment. The red poppies are uh, for all, obviously, for all the servicemen and uh, that died during the war. But we do have purple poppies, which are for the animals that also gave their lives. I mean, they didn't have any choice about it. They didn't enlist. They were enlisted. Um, so it's to remember them as well. Um, and if there's anybody out there, we could do with some more purple poppies. I'm a newcomer, I've only been here 12 years, so, uh, but I mean there's a lot of people here that have been here all their lives, so I'm pretty sure that there will be people that look at it and remember their loved ones that died in the war. The whole idea of Remembrance Sunday is to remember, it's not to celebrate war, it's to remember that war costs lives and it causes a lot of hard memories for people that perhaps never knew their father because he was young and he was drafted in and killed before um, he ever saw them. Um, but it's not just British soldiers, it's soldiers all over the world that have lost their lives in that First World War. And uh, we shouldn't celebrate war, which we don't do. We remember the lives that war causes to be lost.